Hello friends, welcome back. Um, we are going to make our very own piece of artwork inspired by Salvador Dali. One of Salvador Dali's most famous paintings was this one right here. And as you can see, there's some very strange things going on. Remember his style was called surrealistic. And look at those clocks. Those clocks are melting clocks. In real life, those clocks would not melt. So we, our painting is going to be a clock melting, okay? So you'll need a watercolor and you'll need a black crayon. If you wanna do it with pencil first, you can, but Mr. Hibbert's gonna go straight with a black crayon first. So for our clock at the very, very top of your paper, I want you to do a big, move this magnet out of the way, just one big, huge curved line like that. It's like a big hill on the very, very top, okay? And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna do a little up and then down again and then up and down again. It almost looks like it's melting. All right, down again. All right, I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna come straight up. Remember yours is not gonna look exactly like mine, which is okay. That's how it should be. Art should be different. Everyone's is different. You want to be different. A lot of these artists are famous because they're different. All right, so that's going to be the outside of our clock. Now let's work on the numbers of our clock. On the very, very top of a clock, boys and girls, you have the number 12. So I'm going to write a big one and a two. And then over here on our clock, let's write the number one. And then let's write a two. And then we're going to write a three. And now I'm going to start to draw or write my numbers like they're melting because I'm getting down towards the melting part of the clock. So I'm going to start my four like this. So I'm going to have it go and melt down. I'm going to start my five like this. But then I'm going to have it go and melt down. And then my six. And this part's going to go way down. The big oval. And then my seven is going to melt down here. And then my eight, I'll make the top of the eight normal. And then I'll make the bottom kind of melt down here. There we go. And then my number nine, regular. A 10, regular. And an 11, regular. All right, there's the numbers of my clock. For the middle of a clock, I'll put the black circle. And I'm gonna put one hand of the clock just going straight like this. Nice, straight, not bent, little hand of the clock. All right, and then the other hand's gonna go down, but this one's gonna go, it's gonna melt going down. It's a melting hand because this is a surrealistic clock. It's like from your dreams, okay? Now, now that I'm done with my clock, now it's time to watercolor. Now, I'm gonna watercolor everything outside my clock. I'm not gonna actually water inside my clock, okay? Just the outside of my clock. I wanna keep my clock nice and white so it's easy to see. So I'm gonna take my clock, I'm gonna put it on the table. I'm gonna do my best to take my camera and show you, there we go. Show you my clock. There we go. All right, so for my clock, to watercolor, I'm gonna get my watercolors ready. Or when you watercolor, dip your brush, dip your brush and then you're gonna dip your brush in the water and then you're gonna watercolor on the paper. Every time you want to switch your color, make sure you wash your brush off. So let's see, I'm going to put it in the red. I'm going to brush the red until it gets on my brush. Then I'm going to start brushing around the outside of my clock. There we go. I'm going to do a little red. I'm going to wash my brush off. I'm going to get some orange. And I'll do some orange on my, I'm gonna brush some more, it's not very dark. That's a little better. All right, and then wash my brush off. Then go a little darker, let's do, let's do some purple. Hopefully this will make it a little darker. Ooh, there we go, that's a good purple. All right, a little purple on the side there, all right. I'll even let it drip up here in these other colors. Ooh, that's kind of dreamlike. Wash my brush off. And let's get some green. Hopefully the green will just be like that purple. I'm gonna do the green on the other side. There we go. Let it drip a little bit into the other colors there. 
wash the brush off and let's do blue I brush my blue brush my blue so I get the blue on the paintbrush and then let's do it down here by the ooh, look at that it's cool how it drips into the purple I like how the uh, the black crayon that I drew for the clock is kind of acting as a wall it won't let the watercolor go into my clock it's like a big wall keeping the water out and let's see let's do uh, let's go back to red let me see if I can get a darker one just gotta keep brushing it brushing it brushing it and let's do over here oh there we go that's a be way better red all right I'm gonna try to sneak in here don't want to go into my clock if you do it's okay and I'm gonna go up here sneak in there wash my brush off since uh, doing the red again work, let me try to do some orange again. Eh, orange worked a little better. Uh, I'm going to do one more. I haven't done my... Have I done yellow yet? I don't know if I've done yellow. Let's get yellow in there. Brush the yellow, brush the yellow, brush the yellow. The more you brush it, and you make sure you add some water to it, then the more you brush it, usually you get more on your brush. It's not so watery. Eh, it's pretty good. All right, so when you're all done, you should have your very own Salvador Dali clock. It kind of looks like it's from a dream with all the different colors and the rainbow. And um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed it and hope you uh, had a fun time learning about Salvador Dali. Thanks.